a natural DIY toothpaste for dogs and people. We're gonna test this out on Pippi. I'm gonna show you how to brush your dog's teeth properly and even naturally treat gingivitis. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Non-organic toothpaste, it has a whole bunch of questionable ingredients, probably 20 different chemicals I can barely pronounce. You should not be putting those into your dog or yourself on a regular basis. We're gonna start out with the baking soda as the base. We're gonna be using three tablespoons. It's very safe for our pets uh, when it's consumed in small amounts. Next, the coconut oil. It provides the liquid that we need to turn this into a toothpaste. It's a wonderful antibacterial, also very safe for our dogs, as well as providing nutrition. We're using four tablespoons of the coconut oil. I have heated it up. I'm gonna to try to stop Pippi from consuming it. There's our heated coconut oil going in, Pipster. One, two. Okay, four tablespoons of coconut oil. We're almost ready to mix up our toothpaste. Last but not least, I'm gonna add something else. It's gonna provide some antibacterial, anti-gingivitis properties. So make it taste a little bit better. We've got peppermint essential oil. I'm gonna be adding in one, two drops. Here we go, Pippi. So two drops of peppermint essential oil. Just like brushing your own teeth, you just need, you know what, a you know, quarter of an inch at the end of your toothbrush, maybe half an inch worth of your paste. Get out there it is. So this is gonna last you a couple weeks, right? So it's very, very, very inexpensive. And it's healthy and it's safe. It doesn't contain all those toxic, crappy chemicals. Ta-da, there we have our toothpaste. We're now ready to brush the Pippi's teeth. She does not eat all my toothpaste, no. Hey. A soft, bristled, regular human toothbrush is just fine. Uh-huh, we're saving you more money. Okay, now, how do you brush your dog's teeth properly? You're focusing on the outside of the teeth. That's where most of the plaque and tartar is. The inside of the teeth is well cleaned by the tongue. And you're focusing on the area of the tooth and the gum line. That's where we're having the bulk of the issues, where the plaque builds to tartar leads to gingivitis. But obviously you're going on both sides of the teeth and the motion that you're using is not circular, just back and forth, specifically along that gum line on the sides of the teeth. Okay, let's try it, Pippi. Hey, Pippi. Let's see, show them your back teeth here. Here's our toothbrush with our toothpaste. Now you're putting moderate pressure, right? Because you've got it. Okay, Pippi. I don't Back and forth, really focusing on the gum line and the tooth. No Pippi consuming too much of it. Girl Pippi. Let's go to the front of the teeth here. Let's get the other half of Pippi's teeth. Alright, I'm right handed. I'm gonna start this way. Let's get up here. And then I just <laughs> grab a little bit more toothpaste. <laughs> Okay, apparently it's not always easy to brush your dog's teeth as you think. Oh, it's so easy, you just brush their teeth. See, there is some gingivitis which Pippi has. Here is a big bonus I want you guys all to consider. Propolis. It's called bee glue. It comes from bees. A bunch of studies showing it to be so beneficial for gingivitis and people. They've looked at it as a mouthwash, a toothpaste. It really works. I like the idea of using it as a spray. After you've done the brushing, you just go ahead and spray this on. And for a dog like Pippi, the very least you can get it on. No, it's gonna go to all areas of the gums that need to be affected. I'm gonna spray on some of this stuff. So much easier. So after doing that brushing, I can just spray this on. Oh, <laughs> you know, I'm so not crazy about it. Then I'm just using my finger to massage it on the gum line. 
How long should you be brushing your dog's teeth at once? Well, as you can see, it's not always as easy as your vet may suggest. If you can aim for a minute, I think that's a really good goal. 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other. Uh, you know, quickly doing the uh, incisors as well. How frequently? Once a day. Thanks so much for watching in this edition of Veterinary Secrets on our natural DIY toothpaste, how to properly brush your dog's teeth and even treat gingivitis. Click up there to subscribe. Hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And then when you click that link in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.